Being hard on yourself because you haven't yet reached the level of success that you truly desire? Well, watch this video to the end because I'm going to give you the motivation you need to continue remaining patient on your journey to success. What's up and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany and I create inspirational videos to help you live your very best life. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the motivation that you need in order to continue remaining patient on your journey to success. Now, if you're ready to jump in, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you don't miss out when I post future videos just like like this one. Now let's get really real, like for real, for real. The truth is that all of us get impatient with ourselves. We all do. No matter what level of success that we have achieved, there comes moments where we feel like things are just not moving fast enough. We turn on the TV, we look at our Instagram, and we see example upon example of people who seem to have achieved overnight success. Now it's no wonder that we are tempted to be impatient with ourselves, to beat ourselves up, to tell ourselves, girl, why is it taking you so long? You know, something must be really wrong with you. Everybody else is achieving success. Everybody else is living their best life. Everybody else is living their dream. But look at you. You are a failure. But let me tell you that you are not a failure. You are a success. You simply being here and alive is a success in itself. And what you have to learn to do is trust your own journey, okay? Because it's gonna take us all different times to get to our different destinations. Follow me for a second because I really, really want you to get this. And if you're a foodie like me, I already trust that you're going to get this, okay? You have to think about your life and your journey like second day spaghetti, okay? We all know that spaghetti tastes better on day two, okay? Spaghetti tastes better on the second day. So think of your journey and the timing of your life like second day spaghetti. It takes a little longer to get the flavors just right. The seasonings and the juices got to sit a little while longer in order to bring all the flavor to the surface. So it's like, bam, when you eat that spaghetti on the second day, you feel me? You don't know exactly what lessons you need to learn and what experiences you need to experience in order to be happy once you actually do achieve your dream, because that is so important. We don't want to be the type of people who achieve our dream and then we are not physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually ready for that dream and then we have to give it up, okay? We don't want to be those type of people. And if you think about it, there are tons of examples of celebrities and successful people who achieved their dream and then they weren't ready to handle that dream. They were ill prepared for that dream. They were unhappy even though they had achieved their dream. And unfortunately, some of those people are no longer with us. So be mindful of that when you are tempted to rush yourself, when you are tempted to be down on yourself. Your juices, your seasonings are marinating. You're learning the right lessons and experiencing the right experiences to prepare you for that dream so that when you achieve it, you can be the most joyful. You can be ready. You are able to manage that dream and then dream bigger dreams and achieve those too, okay? Now for any future moment that comes up for you where you are tempted to be down on yourself and to rush yourself, I want you to recite this 
affirmation. I'm willing to slow down and trust my own journey. I'm patient AF because my divinely designed dream can't be built in a hurry. Now, if this video encouraged you, go ahead and share it with your friends. And of course, I wanna hear from you. Leave me a comment down below to let me know what dream it is that you are trusting in. Let's encourage each other in the comments. And if you want even more encouragement, then I suggest you watch my video entitled, How to Stop Comparing Yourself to Others. And that's all for now. Until next time, know that I love you, I appreciate you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace.